Hello there, this is Tom Meeks of the Cubify Fans blog, and we're continuing on with our introductory tutorials for Moment of Inspiration. And as I said before, I like to explore a single shape and how we can use that single shape to make things, learning how to apply the various commands we have to that shape. Well, we're going to uh, go to the top view. I'm going to swing out here a little bit by rolling my wheel back and zoom out. We're going to use this circle and we'll make a circle right there. Now I'm going to make another circle immediately right here. All right. Now with this circle, we're going to use the transform, go to the transform tab and use mirror. And what I'll select this axis and you can see now that we now have two of these circles. Well, here's a neat thing about uh, about moment of inspiration. I can drag across to select all of three of these, go to construct, boolean, and union. And instantly we have an outline that we're going to be able to use to make our cookie cutter. Well, now that we have this outline, let's do what I always do. We're going to name it. Frame. All right. And then we're going to extrude it. I'm going to go to the front view. Hit reset so that I see the whole thing. We'll roll it down a little bit. And I'm going to extrude this shape now up here somewhere. I'm only going to make our cookie cutter 20 units tall, but I need that extra space. Now I'm going to click outside of this, click on this, and we're going to call this extrude. Extruded. All right, there we have it. Now here's a neat thing. I've got this selected and I'm going to go to the construct tab and the offset command and select shell. Now I've already got a thickness of three set. We have this little shadow that tells us exactly how this is going to hollow out. When we use shell, it's going to hollow out this object to a thickness of three. I could change that, but I'm going to say done. Now, this is one of my favorite things about Moment of Inspiration. I'm going to draw a line right here at the 20 unit uh, space. And I'm going to select Extrude. Then I'm going to say Boolean Difference and select the line and use that line to actually cut the top off of this shape. There we go. Now watch, when I go to 3D, you'll notice that we now have a hollow shape. That's pretty cool. So we're going to go in this shape to put our eyes and nose and mouth. And uh, I'm going to go to the top view. Now I've already got this named. So I'm going to turn extruded so that I can't see it, but I can still place my objects using the frame. I'm going to go right here, make a small circle, go to the transform mirror, select the Y axis. Now we have two eyes. I'm going to go to a circle here and I'm going to make a bigger circle to make the mouth. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to select this bigger circle right here and I'm going to say control C, control V. Now why, while you can't see it, I'm now sitting on the second circle, the copy. And I need to use Transform, Move, and I'll click down here, and it says, okay, move you that distance from the edge. There we go. Now I have two circles identical, and they cross. The order in which I do this next thing is going to be very important. I'm going to select the first bottom circle, and then I'm going to say Construct Boolean Difference. Now it says select the object to subtract. I'm going to select the second circle and say done. And look at that. I have this nice mouth. So using this, I'm going to come over here, select these features. I'm going to go to the front and I'm going to extrude those features, but I'm not, here's where 20 is where the edge of my cutter is. I don't want to reach that. I only want to use these features to emboss the cookie, emboss a face on the cookie. So I'm going to drop down two millimeters and say, okay, that's fine. Now I'll turn on extruded, turn off frame, 
And you're going to see now when I go to the 3D view that we now have the cookie cutter in this 3D view. And you'll see that the features are down lower so that they'll emboss on top of the cookie but not cut clear through. Now we want to select this object, this object, this object, and we're going to uh, use the Construct tab, and we're going to use the Fillet, and I'm going to chamfer the eyes. Now, it started out here. I was on Fillet, and you notice that Fillet has a, a rounded. Well, actually, why don't we use Fillet? We can do that. Let's see, 150. Let's see what we come up. Okay, there we go. Now this is going to make a rounded edges. These edges are now rounded. I'm going to say done. We're going to do the same thing with the mouth. So I'm going to say, give me a fillet. And uh, notice if I go too far, then I, I cut the mouth down quite a bit. So I'm going to say one in here and see we have a different shape. There we go. We still have that rounded thing, but we, we have this flat part still if i get too big it's going to round it so much that it's not going to be the same shape that i want it so i'm going to say done and then i'm going to come out here to this face out here and i do that watch this if i click on the object the first time one time i click the object the a second click i click the face and i'm going to say chamfer now two is too much as you can see, there's all kinds of weird things going on there. Remember, we had a, an offset of three. So I want this to be 1.4. And there we have a nice sharp edge. Chamfer is straight edges, um, straight sides along an edge. And fillet is rounded sides along an edge. And we're done. In seven minutes, we have created our cookie cutter and we'll be ready to go all right so we finished that and that's how we use circles to make things in moment of inspiration and to modify those circles we've used these various construction transform and edit commands pretty cool see you next time